Well, great to see you again yesterday. Just to recap on the session that we had. Uh, the big issue we've got now, you've improved your balance tremendously and your move off the ball is much better than it was, as we can see here with your swing on the far left. If we just run this through for you once so that you can see your swing. Nice move off it, certainly getting behind it. Legs are working much, much better than they used to. Still a little bit of leg drive as you come through, but that's really a throwback to the way you used to swing the golf club. The big issue I had with you during this session was your impact position. If you watch as you come into the ball, and partly this is because of the way you used to back up and throw the club at the ball because you were too far ahead of it at the top of your backswing. Now that you're nicely behind it, you've got to relearn how to apply the club to the back of the ball. And you can see there as you're coming into impact, you throw the club head at the ball and there's quite a lot of arm rotation as you come through the hitting area so very much a flipping action as you're coming through but most importantly if you look at this point here now the shaft is angling away from your target at impact which is going to impart the ball or, or send the ball high into the air and it's going to impart quite a lot of right to left spin on it when you don't time it correctly. If you compare that to the position you see here with Dave Toms, his shaft is clearly leaning towards his target. That's going to produce a much more stable impact position. Club face on line for longer. You can see there another hint of a flip as he comes through. Producing a much more stable, consistent shot pattern. So the biggest difference between a consistent ball striker and an inconsistent ball striker is his ability to apply or return the shaft to this position that we see here at impact as opposed to this position that we see with yourself. And the big issue we looked at here now was this ability to maintain the angle between the right forearm and the shaft of the club just before impact, as we see here with Dave Toms. And through impact, we just run him through. You can see that even if he goes a frame or so past impact, that angle between the shaft and the right forearm has been maintained. And what we see here with yourself is as you're coming into impact, The angle in the right forearm of the shaft is there, but this angle is now progressively thrown away as you make contact with the golf ball. You can see now that that angle has started to disappear, and in the next frame you're going to see it completely disappear as the right forearm and the shaft of the club form a straight line. So too much flipping, too much throwing the club head at the golf ball through impact. The drill for that is to take your setup, take your left hand off the club, put the left hand between the grip and the right forearm that you see here and work the club through impact. And you can see there that the angle created between the right forearm and the shaft is maintained through the hitting area in the downswing. Impact, you can see there, a pronounced shaft lean towards your target. Shaft and forearm in the same relationship they were just before impact and as you continue through still in that position well after impact. Much more like we're seeing with Dave Toms above you in the footage top right. So what this is all about Will, is you getting a feel for the correct impact position, getting an understanding of what you need to do through the hitting area. This is going to bring your ball flight down considerably and greatly reduce your chances of hooking the golf ball, which long term is going to help you progress your game no end. Good luck with it. See you again soon and keep in touch. Well done.